Yeah, we had uh, we had uh, all out blitz pressure, um, and we we were able to get home from the edges and get them stopped in the backfield. Uh, those were critical stops, uh, turnover and downs twice there in the in the, uh, uh, in the first half, especially when they got inside of our ten yard line and came away with no points. I mean that was a huge stop, and it, the stops throughout the game. Um, Really key to the game was the, the way our defense played uh, on third down, especially um, the three and outs in the second half, um, the the third down stops, uh, just an outstanding job by our defense. All right, Tony. Jim, uh, there's a video surfacing from what looked like a scuffle, at least you could call it in the tunnel. What what, what do you know of that situation? What happened? Yeah, two of our players were. Um, uh, assaulted. It was, uh, you saw the, see, I saw the one video, it's the 10 on one, it's pretty, 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 um, pretty bad. I'm going to let, uh, our athletic director, Ward Manuel, uh, address it, uh, with the authorities and, uh, glad to talk about the football game the rest of the way. Maybe, maybe Ward would want to come up and talk, uh, after. Give, give more, give more detail to it, but it looks pretty, pretty uh, open and shut. I mean, one of our players uh, has a nasal injury; could be, could be a broken nose. And just uh, very unfortunate. On the left, Larry. Jim, uh, <coughs> JJ's feet uh, getting him out of trouble, uh, saving some sacks, and also making some plays. Just. How much of a difference was that in today's game? Uh, it was big. I mean, there was uh, third down conversions that uh, that he picked up. I mean, really great plays. I mean, one time a free free runner on him, and uh, he was able to to uh, get out of it, get out get out of the pocket, and uh, convert a, a real th a great throw to Scooney. Uh, yeah, the offense. I mean, almost. I mean, if they, if you don't uh, if the pass to Ronnie Bell would have been counted that would have been two straight games without a punt um, so I thought the, the way our offense could you know just consistently picking up the first downs moving the football uh, putting points on the board uh, again an outstanding quarterback it was just cool as could be the entire night uh, going through his reads um, and we had pressure he was able to avoid it and, um, just play really, really good football. Really proud of the way he's playing. Back left, was you? Jim, um, I know you said Ward would address it, but from your perspective, could you see how it developed, what developed, how it got out of control, and can you tell us who the player is so we know? I'll, I'll let Ward address that. Um, and have him come up. My perspective is I heard from the, the two players when we got into the locker room and we started addressing it. Um, and then, uh, then the video surfaced. Uh, what happened after the game uh, is completely unacceptable. Uh, I've talked to the commissioner. Uh, he is looking into it. Uh, we have the police are also looking into it and it's because they've seen the video. Uh, and so they're addressing it. We uh, will leave it in their hands. Uh, but this is not how we should interact after a game. This is not the way another team should grab a player <coughs> and do what they did. It's completely and utterly unacceptable. We will let the Big Ten and law enforcement handle it, but this, this is not what a rivalry should be about. And it's not how it should be remembered. We won on the field. This man and his team and those players went out there and won. And for that to happen is unacceptable. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'll leave it to Kevin uh, and the law enforcement to handle from here on out.